Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mindy Banks, the Flip Flop Chef. Today I want to show you how to make turmeric chicken noodle soup using one of my favorite recipes that I've made for a really long time. I've got our pressure cooker already going. If you want to see how I cook the chicken, um, I have another video to show you what I did before the start of this video. So um, please use the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. I always like to hear where you guys are coming in from. Um, our pressure cooker has um, about a minute and a half or so left on our chicken. And when it's done, I'm going to show you what you're going to do to release the steam on your pressure cooker if you're not familiar with that step. The recipe that we're going to make today is super quick and easy. It's really delicious. Um, we're going to use carrots, celery, onions. We're going to add some fresh turmeric, chicken broth, egg noodles. We're going to use the chicken that I've got here in the pressure cooker. We're also going to add one of Pampered Chef's exclusive seasonings, the thyme and onion rub. This is brand new. It's only available this month. So if you're watching this in November 2021, um, it's only available this month in our Taste Bud subscription. So it may be added to our line later on, but right now that's the only way to get it. So you can substitute just regular thyme um, for that if you are making this without that seasoning. We're going to add salt and pepper and it's just going to come together really quickly with the quick cooker. So um, we have less than a minute left on our chicken. So what I wanna go ahead and let you guys know, in the previous video, I took two pounds of chicken tenderloins, I added one cup of chicken broth, some salt and pepper, added that into our pressure cooker, I set it to the chicken and poultry setting, which has a default time of 15 minutes. Since the chicken um, was uh, ready to go, wasn't frozen, the 15 minute time was perfect, and the two pounds is the amount that I use. You can see that this just beeped, and you'll notice that the time sort of resets, our pressure cooker automatically switches over to a warm setting. So let's say you started something before you left for one of your kids' activities in the evening. This will switch over to a warm setting, so when you get back, it's not gonna be cold. It's gonna be ready and waiting for you. I do wanna release the steam, so I wanna show you how to do this. You're gonna push this button on the top to release the steam, but I wanna point out that there are handles on the bottom. So um, I'm kind of at an awkward angle, there we go. Um, you can turn this so that the steam will go away from you or away from your cabinets. So I'm gonna press the button. If you've ever used um, like tongs or something to release the pressure on your um, electric pressure cooker, you don't have to do that anymore. You just press this button here and you'll be able to see all of the steam escaping from that steam cloud. And it, it's positioned so that it pushes it away from you rather than going straight up in the air. I did not need to let this sit any longer after it cooked, so a quick release is what you call that when you just let it finish cooking and you just press the button to release it. Um, if you need to do a natural pressure release, I wouldn't push this button. I would just let it sit until that red pin drops. I don't know if you guys heard or saw that, but the little red pin just dropped because all the pressure has been released. So let me flip this back around and we're going to um, go ahead and work on the next recipe. So I'm gonna press cancel and I'm gonna take a trivet um, and place it here so that I can set the pot that's in here on that. And we're going to use a fresh pot um, just to keep this recipe moving since we are recording. So I've got another pressure cooker pot right here and I've got my ladle ready for when the soup is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our microwave grips and because this pot is really, really hot. So I'm going to set this here. I'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes. So just hang tight. We're going to place a new inner pot into the quick cooker. And I did press cancel. So right now we're not actually doing anything there. We're going to get our vegetables ready. We're going to use Pampered Chef's Flex Plus for that. And we're going to use the food processor portion of that product to chop up the onions, the carrots, and the celery. And then we're going to use fresh turmeric using the um, zester. So let me, let's prepare our vegetables first. Let's do that. So I've got our onions. We're gonna just take this and I'm gonna cut it into some smaller pieces for the food processor. Same thing with the celery. So I've got three pieces of celery. I'm just going to cut this into smaller pieces and I tend to discard the base of the celery. Put that on our little modular sheet pan. And then I'm gonna take our serrated peeler which I love using the serrated peeler. It's basically a vegetable peeler, but you can use it on things like peaches and mango, anything that has a softer skin like kiwi fruit. Um, so it's gonna still work on regular vegetables. So you're just gonna start at one end and just pull away. Whoops, let me turn those, I got butter fingers tonight. We're gonna peel the carrots and then I'm gonna chop them or cut them rather into chunks to put in the food processor portion of the Flex Plus. If you're not familiar with the Flex Plus, it is three appliances in one. They are all cordless 
It comes with a food processor, hand mixer, and an immersion blender. And I have lots of videos on my channel. I even have a playlist. You can go to click the playlist for the Flex Plus and you can watch all the videos for that. And I also have a playlist for the Quick Cooker. So we're gonna peel our carrot, just like this. We have three peelers in the set. You also get the regular peeler and you get a julienne peeler. So I'm gonna show you the julienne peeler in case you don't know what that does. It gives you these super cool strips of carrots. We don't need that for tonight. Oops. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And then I'm gonna cut just the, the very ends of the carrots off. Toss that in the trash. And then I'm just gonna cut these carrots into chunks that I can put in the food processor. So we've got everything ready to go. Now let's grab our food processor. Hands. All right. So with our food processor, it comes with a, whoops, I need to make a little bit of an adjustment here. I keep bumping into that. I move this to where I can easily access it. This pan just didn't have anywhere to go. With our food processor, it comes with three blades. You're gonna get a slicing blade, a grating blade, and then a multi uh, chopping blade. So we're gonna use that one. We're gonna place that in here and um, toss in our onions and our carrots. Actually, I'm gonna cut this one. Um, I may toss the carrots in through the little food chute because I don't want them to um, get stuck in those blades. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna take our lid, place it on the top like this, it just twists right on. Then you're gonna take your power source, you're gonna connect it on right there, and then you're going to stick the battery on here and it's gonna light up. It's gonna stay lit for just a few seconds, um, and this is basically a safety um, feature of this product because it is cordless. We want it to only be able to be used when you are ready to use it, so there's a little safety button on the back. When I push that, I'm actually able to um, whoops, increase or decrease the speed of the food processor. I'm gonna turn this around so that I can actually see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna increase this to the highest speed. Unless the recipe tells you otherwise, you do wanna use the highest speed. So let's go ahead and chop this up. And I'm gonna just take this little piece out and I'm gonna drop the carrots in so that it will um, finish chopping those two. Whoops, put that back on. And that's it, pretty cool, right? Take the battery off, take the power handle off, and then we're gonna take the lid off. Let me set my pan aside here and check this out. We have perfect chopped vegetables. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna take one tablespoon of oil, I'm gonna put it in the new um, clean bowl for our quick cooker so that you can see that. And let me move this chicken just a little bit out of the way so you can still see the front of this hopefully. I'm gonna turn this to the very first setting which is sear. I'm gonna press the start button and it's going to get this going. So it's basically like using a skillet on your stovetop. So I'm gonna let that oil heat up. And while I let the oil heat up, I'm gonna take the blade out of the food processor. And I should have showed you before I chopped this up how easy it is to take these two pieces apart. So they're two separate pieces because you need this post when you're using the grating and slicing blades, but you're gonna grip this right around those blades and then just twist and press this out to separate it. It's better to do this when your hands in the product are dry, but I didn't wanna leave that part out. Okay. So once this is heated up just a little bit, I'm going to transfer our vegetable mixture right into the quick cooker lid. It only takes like a minute, 90 seconds for this oil to get hot. Like I can put my hand in here and I can already feel the heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this in there. You may not be able to hear that sizzle yet. It's still heating up. Toss this in. And we're gonna let these vegetables cook until they're nice and tender. Now, in the meantime, let's get our chicken chopped up. So let me show you, I'm gonna be really gentle with this. The, the pot is still a little bit warm, but it's not super hot. Hopefully you guys can see what I've got in here. So this is two pounds of chicken tenderloins cooked in the quick cooker for 15 minutes on the chicken and poultry setting. 
I'm gonna use my scoop and drain to scoop out the cooked chicken. So you can see it drains the water. Transfer this in here. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll click the subscribe button while you're here. And be sure to check out my recipe community. It's at theflipflopchef.com. All right. And then what we have left in here is just all of the broth. I'm going to set this aside. You can save the broth for um, another recipe. We could even throw it in the pot that we have here with our vegetables. Now be really careful because the rim of this will get hot the, the longer that it's in here. So a lot of times I just stick um, a little microwave grip on the top so that I can hold this so that the bowl doesn't kind of slip and slide around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and chop up the chicken while our vegetables continue to cook. And I'm gonna use one of my favorite products from Pampered Chef. These are the salad choppers. You'll notice they're double bladed. So um, you can use them to chop um, fruits, vegetables, your salad ingredients, and cooked meats. I use them mostly for cooked meats. Um, you can also smash avocados or bananas, anything that you need to just smash and turn into mush, basically. Um, but to see how these work, I recommend that you hold them like this. So your fingers are gonna go through the handle. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing there. And your thumb is gonna go on this piece. And it's comfortable to hold it in here rather than having your elbow up in the air. It's kind of uncomfortable to do it that way. So by putting your fingers in this way, then you're going to have a more comfortable grip. We're gonna shred the chicken. And in the previous video where I show you guys how to cook this chicken using the quick cooker, I mentioned that you can basically use this method to cook chicken for just about anything. So if it's gonna be a casserole, chicken salad, chicken soup, anything that you're gonna need, shredded chicken, or just cooked chicken. You don't even have to shred it depending on what you're making. So we're gonna shred this up, and then this is gonna go in our pot in just a little bit. Scrape out that little bit. These are dishwasher safe, by the way. Love, love, love the salad choppers. All right, so I'm gonna set the chicken aside for the moment, and we're going to go ahead and add in our salt and pepper and our other seasoning here, because these are these um, vegetables are getting nice and seasoned. So I'm gonna be using Pampered Chef's grinder set. I have peppercorn medley in this one and our Himalayan sea salt in the other. So I'm just going to grind this right over the pot. Salt and pepper. And I'm not a big salter. And so um, my family tends to add more salt once they get it on their plate. So certainly add more salt if you need to. All right, and then we're gonna add in this thyme and onion rub. So this is an exclusive product, like I mentioned. It's not something that we sell in our catalog right now, but if you're watching this before November 16th, you can order this in our Taste Buds subscription, and hopefully they'll add it to our line um, at some point. But you can see the color. They use paprika to get that color. It's gonna fit right in. I'm gonna do one teaspoon. We're gonna be using turmeric. Now, you could use ground turmeric if you want. If you can get fresh turmeric at your grocery store, I highly recommend it. And I keep mine in the freezer. We're gonna use our zester. This is our microplane zester. I'm gonna put it in this um, little stand position here. And I am gonna use the little food holder that comes along with it. So you can use it with or without, depending on the food that you're going to be using. Um, this is the turmeric, it's fresh turmeric. Got it right out of my freezer, so it's a lot softer than if you buy it um, fresh. Um, I peel it before I freeze it. It just makes it a little bit easier when I need to use it. And actually, I'm going to just do this right over the pot. So I'm going to move my little um, tool there. And then just take this and grate this right over the pot. I have one little sliver that is a little bit too thin to shred anymore, so I'll set that aside. <clears throat> And then anything that's on the back, I'm just gonna scrape off with my scraper. So the color of this is really, it goes really well because we've got all those carrots in there, the turmeric, and then our uh, thyme and onion seasoning also has that orange color to it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth. You could use broth, or if you wanna make your own homemade chicken broth or uh, bone broth, you could do that. And I have a video also in the quick cooker playlist on my channel showing you how to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in two cartons of chicken broth. But if you make your own bone broth, it tastes way better with that. I actually do not have any in my freezer. So we're gonna use the carton chicken broth. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So two cartons, so that's basically eight cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna pour a little slowly so I don't splash. And I'm just continuing to cook on the sear setting for right now. All right. <clears throat> Cycle those. I'm going to go ahead and pour in our shredded chicken. So we're going to set that in there as well. And then we're going to add our egg noodles. Um, if you want, I'm actually going to be serving this right away. So if you're not going to be serving this right away, I recommend that you cook this without the egg noodles and stir them in 20 minutes before you're ready to, uh, to serve them and keep it on either the warm setting or um, a really, well actually I would just keep it on a sear setting. I think that's the best. So we're gonna put about eight ounces. This was about a pound bag. So I'm gonna put about half of it in there. There we go. And I'm also gonna add two cups of water. And I'll give this a little stir. And then we're gonna pressure cook this. So we need our pressure cooker lid. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour that chicken broth that we had left over from our chicken so that I don't waste it. I'm just going to pour that in there. It will add a little bit extra flavor. I try not to waste any food if I can help it. Now, since I've just used this pressure cooker lid, the seal is a little bit loose. So you want to make sure that you press all the way around. Make sure that you're getting that um, back in all the way. Now, if this was still hot, you would want to be really careful, but it's had enough time to cool off. Um, you also want to double check your steam vent. So you see this is open from when I release the steam. Press the button and that's going to close that steam vent. Just make sure that this is flush. So we're going to place this on the top. And now I'm going to press cancel. Let me turn this so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to turn this to the um, soup setting, which is a 30 minute default setting and it's a high pressure. So I'm going to press start. What's going to happen is it's going to take 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to come up to pressure. The amount of time to come up to pressure is dependent on how much liquid you have in the pot. So the less liquid you have, the faster your pot is gonna come up to pressure. The more liquid you have, the longer it's gonna take. So it may actually only take about 15 minutes because all this liquid is pretty much hot because we've been using it on the sear setting for so long so far. Um, so it may not take quite as long, but don't get discouraged if you don't see this counting down because while it's pressurizing, this little uh, lights just kind of spin around. And when it's pressurized, that red pin on the top pops up like the turkey at Thanksgiving and it lets you know that the pot is pressurized. And shortly after that, it's gonna start counting down from 30 minutes and 30 minutes is up. The pressure cooker is going to beep, let you know it's over. It will end and then it will automatically switch over to that warm setting like we saw at the beginning of this video with the chicken. And that is it. So we have our chicken turmeric chicken noodle soup in our pressure cooker ready to go. This recipe can be found at theflipflopchef.com. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel while you're here. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I hope to see you the next time. Have a great night.